Hi, my name's Tony Booty, or Antonio Booty, and I'm the author of A Stolen Life, uh, The Bruce Trevorrow Case. Well, I mean, I've been involved in uh, researching and also practicing in the area of stolen generations for about 10 years before the Bruce Trevorrow case was decided. And all of the cases previously have been unsuccessful. So, of course, when the Bruce Trevorrow case was successful, I was, of course, very interested in writing about it. Well, Bruce's story is tragic. It, it, it provides a portrait of a lost soul caught between two worlds and not feeling at home in either of those worlds. And also the, the tenacity of the legal team to fight this through the courts to succeed against the state of South Australia. He came back to the fact that he was removed as a child from his natural parents and would never ever form an attachment to his biological parents or really form an attachment to his foster mother. So really it's a combination of the factual scenario and the legal situation, particular to uh, South Australia at the time, that led to a successful uh, outcome and I think that was very important that that case has been, uh, is to be read by as many people as possible. When I started out working at the Aboriginal Legal Service back in 1994, I received a, a file uh, which provided uh, some of the uh, facts of, of a member of the Stolen Generations, but until then, and I was in my early 30s, I had never heard or even realised that we had this part of Australian history. So that would tell me that um, our education system had basically not done a good job in telling this very important part of Australian history. So it's been part of my journey since to find out more about it, particularly from a legal historical point of view. And I think it's very important to communicate that to the wider world. And that's why one motivation for writing the, uh, the book is to life, because I think it's important that we bring important legal cases to the wider public. I don't think they've done that very well in Australian publishing. So I'm hoping that this book might rectify that uh, deficiency to some extent. Are you able to tell with honour what you are like as a father to your children. I feel that I can't be a father to my children because I haven't got the skills.